Hello guys, welcome to a sit down video. I have not done one in forever and truthfully, I've really missed just like sitting in front of the camera and talking to you guys. So that is what I'm going to do today. Today is 10 baby names I love, but I will not be using. If you are new here, go ahead and hit that red subscribe button. We would love to have you a part of our family. My name is Stephanie. I am pregnant with baby number six. I have a 13, 12, 10, two, and five month old baby. So a lot of our viewers have been asking us, what are we planning to name this baby? And we truthfully do not know, but I figured this would be a very fun video because I personally love watching these videos. However, with that said, this video is kind of a lie. We may end up using one of these names. Sharing is scaring, and if you see one of these names and you love it, please use it. I'm not gonna be upset or offended or think you stole my name. Names are not my property. And in return, if you can share the love, if you have a boy and or girl name that you absolutely love, please leave them in the comments below. We already have four boys, so coming up with like boy names is really hard. The thought of coming up with a girl name is so foreign to us <laughs> that we don't know either. So please leave them in the comments below. I think others would enjoy it. So let's get to sharing and let's get this party started. Oh wait, my baby's crying. Hang on. If you guys haven't met my cute five month old baby Liam. Yeah. A lot of times when I do these videos, you guys ask what my kids names already are. And we have Danielle, Lonnie, Noah, Alexander, and Liam. So let's get started on this fun journey. My first name is a girl and it's for Abigail. And it's not spelt the traditional way because the way that it's spelt on the screen right now is Irish. It's of Irish origin, which I'm Irish, Lonnie's Irish. This was the name that Noah was gonna be named and every child after that we kept having a boy for. So we absolutely love the name. Abigail spelt the traditional way is number 15 in popularity, but if you spell it like we want to, it's like 15,000. It is not a popular name because it's spelt so differently. Abigail's meaning is father's joy. One reason why we wouldn't use this name is because we've had it for so long, I feel it's kind of just blah. Like I think I might want something a little bit new, a little bit fresh. Also because we are good friends with Priscilla and Asa from Fathering Autism. Their daughter's name is Abby and I know they wouldn't care if we use the name Abigail or Abby or at least I don't think they would. But it's just weird to me to have friends that our kids have the same name or we have the same name as them kind of thing. So I don't see us using the name Abigail. Now the next name is a boy's name. It is Nathaniel. Nate or Nathan is great nicknames for it. Nathaniel is actually Greek and it means gift of God. I love the name Nathaniel because Nathaniel Hawthorne is and always will be my favorite author. But if you're wanting to use it, it's like a name that is kind of popular but not too popular. It was number 114. The next name is a girl's name and it has a very sentimental meaning for us but it's Joanna and it means God is gracious. And I'm not going to tell the story because it would make this video too long but it is a very 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 sweet story. Great nickname for that is Joe or Hannah and we loved it because my middle name is Joe. It is Hebrew but it is not very popular. It's only number 643 so it's not like a super common name. Again a lot of these names are like unique and things like that. The next name we have is Killian. Killian I love but Lonnie hates. Everyone hates it in my family so we will never use this name. My mother-in-law jokes that it means that he would be a mass murderer or something but I just love the name so much. It is Irish of course. It is number 282. So it's one of those that is popular, but not too popular kind of thing. The first time I ever heard the name Killian was from Witches of Easton. I watched that a lot and I just absolutely loved it. The next name is Aria. And yes, I did get it from Game of Thrones. <laughs> a good nickname is Ari. One of the reasons we will not be using this name is because Daniel's dad is having twins and they're having a boy and girl and they are naming their girl Aria. So yeah. The meanings and where Aria originates from is kind of loose. It can mean air, it can mean bird, it can be lion of God. Most sources says it's a Teutonic name, that that's the origin, but it has also been known to be Italian or Hebrew as well. Again, just kind of up in the air. You can spell it Aria like A-R-Y-A, 
or A-R-I-A. -A. I'm not sure how we would spell it if we chose that name, but if you spell it with the Y, it's number 66. If you spell it with the I, it's number 11. So it's a pretty common popular name right now, and I'm sure because of Game of Thrones, it's a beautiful name now. A lot of the names we come up with are from shows and different things like that, but they're beautiful and just unique, and I love them. The next one is a boy's name, and it is Bellamy. And for anyone that watched The 100, yes, we got it from there. I just love this name. I don't know why. I just feel it's very original. You really don't hear it. I think Belle as a nickname even for a boy is cute. I know a lot of people kind of have mixed feelings about it, but Bellamy can be used for a boy or girl. I couldn't see using it for a girl, but that's just our preference, but it is a unisex name. It has French origin and it means fine friend. As far as popularity, it is number 1,123. So it is not a popular name at all, but it is moving up the charts. It moves up like 400 and something spaces from last year. So I think from the 100 growing that it's a name that's definitely getting out there. I feel like this happens a lot with popular TV shows, like certain names just keep growing. Next, we have another girl name, and this is my favorite girl name. It is Aliana, and I just love how it sounds. There is a very sentimental story to it as well. It's kind of sad too, so I'm not going to tell the story, but I love the nickname Ali. So I love Ali, Aliana, just beautiful. It sounds like a princess name. I just love it. And it goes with land. <laughs> Just kidding guys. A lot of people have asked like if we're gonna limit what we name this child to L, A, N, or D for those who don't know. That's how we came up with our landing crew. They're the first letters of each of the kids name kind of thing. But no, we aren't. But Aliana means my lord has answered. It's kind of a variation name, like couple names like put together. The consistency seems to be that it's Irish and Latin together. It's not a very popular name. It's 880, which I think is awesome. Liam was number one on the charts when we named him, and I just loved the name. I felt connected to the name. I felt that that's what his name was supposed to be, so I just dealt with the fact that it was super common. Now, the next boy name is Nicklaus. It generates from Nicholas. A great nickname is Nick or Klaus. If you watch Vampire Diaries or the originals, uh, that is where we got the name from. And I know at this point you're probably thinking, oh my lord, Stephanie needs to stop watching Netflix, which you're probably right. But they come up with some great names, okay? But yes, it's Niklaus, so you could do Nick, Nikki, Klaus, that kind of thing. I'm not really big in nicknames though. I feel like what I name my child, I want them to use except for Alexander because that was Lonnie and I's agreement. But it is a Greek name and it means victory of the people. And I love it because Alexander is a Greek name. So I wanted to name Liam Niklaus because they're both Greek and Lonnie was naming Alexander after Alexander the Great. So I felt they were both very strong men names but obviously we named him Liam, so. But it is number 1,297, so it's definitely not a super popular name. The last girl name is Davina. I absolutely love the name Davina. I think it's beautiful. It is a Scottish name. I love it so, so much. I would love to have a little Davina Joe. okay? It means beloved or friend, and it's not popular at all either. It's number 631. For the last boy name and the last name of this video, we have Lincoln. Link is the cutest nickname like ever, and I just love it so much but Lonnie doesn't. It's, it's really hard for Lonnie and I to do baby names because I think after you have so many kids, it's kind of hard to like agree on one and Lonnie is the hardest person to name a baby with, okay? But Lincoln means colony. From what I'm understanding, it was originally a Latin name. And then of course, a lot of us know it as an English name because Abraham Lincoln, but it originally came as Latin. It is kind of popular. It is number 36. So those are my 10 baby names I love but will not be using unless I do use one. And then that's what happens. And on your way out, if you have not hit that red subscribe button yet, please do so, so you can become a part of our crazy, crazy family. Bye. Where you move, make me blind. You will always be there. There's no doubt in my mind. You will always be there. Heading out to see ya and leave.